up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another episode of Switch Up Saturday. Now this may be Sunday, maybe Saturday, I do not know, but it has been a while since I've released one of these episodes, so I am super, super excited for today. We will be playing Knights and Dragons by Gree, it's a, it's a Gree game, and it's supposed to be very, very, very cool, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Now this has like 10 million downloads and another great game uh, modern war I played a ton of so I thought I'd give this one a go this one has a fantasy feel twist to it and it seems like it's gonna be pretty good so we'll hopefully get to learn a bit about this game together and have some fun playing it as a team now if you guys would like to download this for yourself it is available for Android and iOS and you can use the download link in the description below it is a sponsored link so if you decide to use that it will help out my channel and I greatly greatly appreciate it so Gwen is here and she has some information for me if you're going to bring peace to the land you're going to have to explore all of it okay you should uh, you should make your way to thieves cove but it's not as easy as just walking there in order to unlock a new area you'll need to completely clear the area that comes before it you'd better get started commander okay all right so uh, clear relic ruins uh, okay, I can do that. I can definitely do that. So we'll go and uh, and we'll see if we can get that done So this is my castle and it's a it's a very cool game It, it, it has some combat in it. It has exploration in it, and it has economy in it. So it's like a castle builder I don't know. It's pretty cool and so far. I definitely uh, am enjoying it What's up with this downloading right here? And yes, this does have guild. So if you guys download this game, by the time you download it, I will have a guild within the game. And uh, it's going to be awesome. It is going to be fabulous. And it's probably going to be called Frosties, but I will have the guild link in the description below. So if you guys do decide to download this using the download link, please join up in the guild and we can have a ton of fun together. Uh, defending each other's castles and helping each other out. So this is Knights and Dragons. And another major thing I want to talk about really, really quick is... I have a few questions, about 20 of them to answer from Twitter, so it'll be like a Q&A video as well. And what's this free armor thing? Oh, ah, uh, that's the friend code. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll work on that later. For now, should we go down to... Alright, so I think part of what I had to do was clear Relic Ruins, so I guess we do it... Let's do it on Mighty. Let's do it on the Mighty difficulty. I have my hero, Jack, who's got a pretty nice set of equipment here, and then Sir Howard, who can all... Or who can both go into battle for me. So, let's see who we are going to be fighting. So, there are these rat dudes, and, and the fighting is pretty interesting. You just kind of sit there and just... It's like a uh, turn-based strategy, so it's, it's fairly simple. Um, but the biggest, the biggest, uh, I guess the biggest heart, the hardest part about the combat is upgrading your warriors to make sure that they're capable of beating the bosses, which is, in this case, a big old serpent. So, I think I should be good, because it is very, very early in the game, and I can use the superpower? Can I please use the superpower? Yes, I can. And he's gone! And he's... <laughs> He is gone. So there we go. Sir Howard, I don't even think he did much. He just kind of sat there. Sir Howard was cheering me on. But I did get two stone slabs and a little bit of experience as well. And I unlocked another stage of the Relic Ruins. So I guess we should conquer that stage, right? Why not? Let's do it. Let's do the Valor stage and let's see uh, really quick. Um... Yeah, I think, I think I have that. I think I have this down. So we'll try again. This time with the Valor stage, it'll be a little bit more difficult. And eventually, I will be able to clear out some more land and uh, basically upgrade my castle more. With all of the new upgrades and materials and things like that, I do get for XP. Uh, battle 2 out of 4. We got two of these little rat with hood things. I don't know what they are, but we'll grab the XP that they drop and we'll see if we can finish off this battle with the serpent. And here he is! The serpent has a little minion this time! So we will do the fourth stage of battle and I'll go ahead and hit it off with the big old super power up. We'll do it and we'll see what we can get. Is it a, oh not not all the way but yeah so we should start off with our questions now so here is the first question of the day this comes from a user named your friend Twixt <laughs> and he said what college do I plan on going to because if you guys don't know next year or I guess really this year in a few months I'll be going off to college and the answer is I don't know I really don't know I've applied to a ton of colleges but you guys will certainly know exactly where I'm going once I figure out which one I'm going to so I don't know yet but. You guys will know soon. And look at that! We can craft some new armor! Okay, so we'll go uh, make some of this basic earth armor. How's it going? 
How do you do, boss? Just pick an armor set and get started. Okay, well, let's do the basic earth armor. Let's craft this one up. And I'll just finish it for a gem. Yeah, we'll just finish it for a gem. And we will equip this earth armor now. And I think I just put that on Sir Howard, did I not? Okay, so let's... Let's check him out. Yes, he's wearing the basic earth armor. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So over here, I need two more stone slabs, two more earth shards to make some more of the... Huh? Can't really make much more right now. So we'll just go ahead and leave. But there is one thing I may be able to do is check out the armor upgrading station, the fusing master, the fusion master himself. Maybe he'll do enhance some of my armor. Let's see. Um, let's do the... Let's do the basic earth... Oh, I have fire armor? No way! Basic, okay, hold on. Oh, armor is in use. Okay, so I can't do the one that's in use, but I can, oh, okay, I can enhance this. All right, so I'll enhance up the armor, and I think maybe Howard can get this one. The Sir Howard can grab the uh, fire, what is it? Yeah, fire armor, okay. Sick, oh, let's get this to Howard then. Oh, he can't equip the, oh, that's annoying. Oh, whatever, well, hopefully when I get a new hero, I will be able to do that, so we'll just go ahead and exit without the changes. But yes, this is the main menu of the game. I should have shown you this earlier, but if you go down to the bottom right, there's a menu here where you can visit the different um, buildings and, and, and areas within the game just from a simple menu. Also, I thought I would show you guys that yes, you can get pets, but I do not have any yet, and I will be doing that later. But um, also, another really cool thing about this is there's an arena, and uh, once again, I'm not a high enough level to do that, but hopefully by the end of this episode, I'll collect enough rewards and become a level five master, and we can enter the arena together. But for now, Gwen says excellent work every area has five stages of difficulty completing uh, completely beating any difficulty stage gets you extra XP okay awesome so I got one XP and a hundred gold to go along with that and we will start another quest and Artie's here to say the next thing I knew I was surrounded by oh okay well he's just talking about some sort of war with Robin that's a new character I've not seen Robin yet um, okay, a new face in the kingdom. Welcome. Let me introduce myself. I'm Morgan the Armorsmith. Mr. Riveting is Artie, and this is Commander Jack. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> so she is a new character. All right. We'll go ahead and go ahead and sift through this dialogue, and I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so I need to go learn how to go get a pet. So looks like we are going to grab one. All right, so Robin, you can help me out. All righty, now that we're at the hunting grounds, we can acquire some bait. Bait has different elements and will attract potential pets of those elements. Sound? Sounds good to me. However, these beasties are picky eaters. The stronger ones are only attracted to rare bait, which makes them more difficult to acquire. Selecting a bait will give a brief description of what the rarity of pets are and more likely... Oh, okay, okay, sounds good, sounds good. I found this bait while finding my way here. Why don't you try it out and see if you can convince some of the wildlife to help you out. So she has a blended seed. Let's hunt with the blended seed. So we should take... Oh, do we just take both? Yeah, we'll just take both of them. Okay, and then uh, no pets, of course. And uh, we should be good, and we can go ahead and start up this quest and see. Uh, who are we fighting here? These water orbs? Jeez, what are those? Okay, well, whatever works. <laughs> whatever works. And it looks like I'm collecting them or something. So I think it's perfect time to answer the next question here, which is from Nitro Shift. And he asked, what is your favorite game apart from Minecraft? And I think... It's probably either Oblivion, which is an Elder Scrolls series game. It was the game before Skyrim, if you guys have ever heard of Skyrim. Or Fallout, in any of the Fallout games. And the newest one is, is very good as well. So, so that's that. Did I get a pet? I do not know. I do not know if I got a pet. Did I? Let's go to the uh, menu and see if I got any pets. Oh my goodness. Those things are pets? Dude! I didn't know those were pets. Oh, that's awesome. So we got like these orb things. Okay, I was thinking more uh, along the lines of cats and dogs, but that 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 does work. So we will collect the rewards from that. Fantastic job. No problem, Robin. Uh, every day, any, any day, any day. Speaking of which, don't worry about hurting any of those beasties. They're all creatures of pure elemental energy, so they can't actually be hurt. Oh, awesome. Okay, the worst you could do is stun it and cause it to retreat into a protective bubble. Then you can just scoop it up, calm it down, and you'll have yourself a new buddy. All right, sounds good to me. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What's the point of gathering these pets if all they do is float around and creep already out? They're cute, but look at their eyes. What happened to their eyes? Uh, do you really think I'd wrangle these critters if they just creeped out the locals? I'm going to show you how to fight. Oh, fight with the pets. All right, sick, sick, sick. Okay, so we can go ahead and start the quest uh, with this one. Okay, now that your little buddy has warmed up to you, you can get him to help you in combat. Sweet, sweet, sweet. They may not be the best combat partners, but they did attack, uh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, so they can do some damage. All right, so we'll go ahead and see what they, what these little dudes do. Um, so let's go ahead and see where I can, let's, let's find some combat here. Let's go down to the Relic Ruins and do the Honor Stage and see if we can beat this one up. All right, see if we can beat these dudes up. Now, I don't have any extra knights, but I do, in fact, have a lovely pen. We'll do Spectre. We'll bring Spectre with us, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can start and use Spectre in battle. So first things first, let's get rid of these rats. And while we are, we can read the next question from Elvis Tello. And he said, will you make a server just for us, Frosty said, you guys. And um, I don't know. I really wanted to, but I think at the same time, it's just a huge... Oh, look at those skeletons. Okay. Those are, those are pretty serious. Those are pretty serious skeletons right there, but they're not too good. They're not too good. I'll grab the XP. But yeah, um, I don't know. But I really want to. I, I, I definitely like to uh, to make a server, and uh, maybe in the future I will, but I don't have any plans uh, anytime soon for making a server. So hopefully that answers your question. The next question is from Z Miner MC, and he wanted to know if I wanted to bring back collabs. Another great, great question. Oh! Use the pet ability? Oh! No, what, what did that, oh, what did that do? What did that do? Very cool, so pets have their own abilities. Oh, he's attacking with me now. I see, that's pretty sick. Oh, okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh my goodness, look at that serpent lady. Jeez Louise. Look at her, man. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that XP and finish it off with the super, super attack. No, not even close, not even close. But we do have another question that I was just mentioning here. Bring back collabs. And yes, I do want to. It's just, it's super, super difficult for me to do collabs. And recording on my own is perfectly fine with me. Oh, am I going to die? No, but I was very, very close to. We'll grab those earth shards and the XP. And we have leveled up to level five. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And does that mean I get another hero? I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. But we have a few news informations popping up here. And I do need to finish off the Relic Ruins with the Epic. But for right now, I have I can collect the rewards from the Friends Quest. Okay. And she's just telling me a little bit more about the pets. We'll just skip that. And uh, we'll collect the rewards. And we can start one of these quests later on. But for now, what is this arena all about? Let's visit the arena and see what is up. Okay. So, is this... Like an online kind of deal? Let's see, let's see. Can I attack? Oh! I can. Okay, let's add a pet. Let's add Spectre, who I just did a lovely, lovely attack with. And uh, can I add a knight? No, I don't, I don't have another knight to add. So we'll just go ahead and see if this is going to work. And uh, fight. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh yes. He's only got one dude. He's only got one dude. Look at this. Oh, we are destroying him. So in the arena, I can fight other people. This is very, very interesting. I earned 104 swords, whatever that is, and a new set of armor. Oh, okay. I like the arena a lot. So I guess this is some sort of online play as well. I've earned a new tier of awards. Wait, so can I equip those rewards? Oh, can I? Wait a second, can I equip that? I can. I can and I will. Oh yeah! I love it, I have two sets of those as well. So now we have very similar looking heroes. One's a little bit more tan, I'm a little bit more tan, but that is that. Let's go to the hunting grounds and uh, should, we, should we go try to find another pet or, or should we build something in these plots? Um, I don't know. Why not? Why not? Oh, I can't purchase it until level 8. So I can't really customize much of my castle until a later level. I guess we'll just start another quest. Let's see. What about this craft new armor quest? What is this about? Okay, so Morgan, the blacksmith, or whatever smith, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, she says, I've collected a few stone slabs and I should be able to get stone scale plate armor. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said stone scale plate armor? I'm afraid I can't do that. But if that's part of the quest, that's not going to happen, so I'll grab some more basic armor. But I can, unfortunately, get that. So I guess we'll not do that one just yet. Oh, what is this? Oh! I am. I, am. I just did it. I just did an arena battle, though. I just did an arena battle. You're a little bit late to the party, Gwen. Oh, jeez. All right, so engage in... Oh! Five ranked PvP battles? Okay, I'll do that one. I will definitely do that. So we'll enter the arena, and uh, let's do battle now. Should that work? Unranked. Ooh, no, let's do rank. Let's do rank. Give me a ranked one. Give me a rank. So I guess we'll just fight one more person in the arena and read another question from Shots HD YouTube. Do you think you will reach 1 million subs this year? And it was an easy, easy win. And I think 
and we have a good chance. We have a very, very good chance to do that. And if we do, that would absolutely be crazy. I don't know. It's up to you guys, though. Hey, if we make it, that'd be awesome. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as the year extends. Also, from Cole C. Perrine, this is a very interesting question. He asked, honest answer, what keeps you going more? Your love for Minecraft or your love for your subscribers? And uh, it's a very good question. And since I'm not on a Minecraft video... It, you know, it brings up the question, what matters more, subscribers or Minecraft? Or, that's not the right word, no. that's not the right way to describe that question, but I think for me, my, what keeps me going is definitely the subscribers more than Minecraft. Minecraft is a very fun game, but at the same time, it's like, if I didn't have you guys, and I didn't have you guys to talk with it, or, or you know, or just hang out over a game like Minecraft, I wouldn't be playing as much as I am, you know? It's, it's a game that, yeah, it's fun, but like... You guys are the reason I'm playing it as much as I do, and and if you guys weren't there to comment and give me suggestions and and be able to interact with me over you know through the game of Minecraft, I don't know if I would play it as much, and that's just honest. So yeah, it's definitely you guys. It is definitely you guys. So no, it's thanks to you. It's all thanks to you. Another question from Jockey, the Jockey Miner. What is my goal for subscribers in 2016? And I think the other question may have given you a good hint. If we could get a million subscribers in 2016. That would be absolutely crazy. I don't know if that's going to be possible. I really have no clue. But if it is, and if we are able to do that, oh my goodness, that would be absolutely wild. That would be absolutely crazy. I, I don't even know. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And it is. It's it's possible, right? 300,000 in a year? I mean, I think we did it this year, right? I'm pretty sure we did anyway. So just do it again, and, uh, and hopefully that works out. Hopefully it works out. I don't know. We'll see, though. We will see, and I'll save the pet's ability until this last round. No, the third round. Oh, let's go ahead and use it now, then. We'll go ahead and use the pet's ability now, and um, and we'll see how good this attack is. But we do have another question here from Thunderbro. How long do you spend per day working on videos? And um, good question, good, good, good question. I think I probably spend maybe 45 minutes per episode or for video on average. I'd say that's just a that's a fairly fairly realistic average I would say so uh yeah I mean it, it doesn't take too long it doesn't take as long as some people think but it does it does take a lot of planning and stuff so that it's hard to really measure the time just because a lot of time is spent planning and preparing actually making videos is not the longest part of the process so yeah that's a good question though it's a very very good question though as we go ahead and defeat this serpent on the epic on the epic what is it or was that what was this difficulty called i don't know but i think we i think we got this one yeah we do we got it in the bag sir howard finishes her off and we get a ton of earth shards 11 experience and whatever she was can be summoned at the summoning stone awesome okay so let's go ahead and see this up so i've unlocked the thieves cove area which is the next area down here uh oh whoa i don't know what oh this monster's gonna be tough. I think we're gonna change our tactics for taking things on. You better get rewards. Okay. Ah, all right, I see, I see. So I may be getting in a little bit over my head here, but it's try. It's, it told me to try, so we'll see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. It is monstrous. <laughs> is it a girl? It looks like a girl. Yeah, it's got some hair. It's got some long hair. It's got some, it's just, you know, I don't know what this is. Oh my goodness, though. Am I gonna, I think I may win. I think I may win. If I get this power up in time, yes, I can get the power up off. And I do have the pet power up as well. I can go ahead and use that. Oh, just one more hit with me. Okay, so how Sir Howard may be able to finish this off here. Yep, unfortunately, I'm gonna be turning to sticks and bones. But is Sir Howard gonna have enough on the plate to finish her off? And he will, almost. Yes, yes, he will. Well, monster unlocked. I've unlocked the Dryope at the Summoning Stone. Another monster. I got a ton of keys, and oh my goodness, what was that? What in the world? That was awesome. That was so sick. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check out some of this stuff. Oh, okay, well, I can equip that later. And uh, nothing else from here, right? Nothing crazy from over here. I don't think I can make anything else. Yeah. Just look around here, just make sure. Doesn't look like I can make anything else. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on with the summoning stone. So the summoning stone, okay. So, oh my, look at this. Oh, so it does cost gems, but if I summon a, a something, Oh, so you just fight them. Okay, so you just go fight them, and I guess it's for a reward, like XP and stuff like that, and I am not gonna beat her. Why is she so difficult all of a sudden? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm getting annihilated. That was not worth spending gems on. Look at this. All right, so I'll fast forward the battle here. And uh, definitely, definitely 
a defeat. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was awful. That was miserable. Do I restore? Yeah, I'll restore. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's just leave. Let's just flee, <laughs> let's just flee. So at least we know what that's all about. Wait, are the guilds unlocked? Are the guilds unlocked? Oh my goodness. Okay, the guilds are unlocked and I will create a guild really quick. Um, I'll do that right now, actually. Well, th that does cost 300,000 gold. So we'll just see uh, what's up with these guilds. We'll join one. I'm gonna join one that has uh, not a lot of members inside. Has room. No, okay, we'll do the li the Luttus. Yeah, the Luttus. 10 out of 32 members. That is 22 slots. And then eventually I will create the, uh, my own guild. But for now, We've got ourselves inside of a guild. I will take that any day of the week. So let's check out the quest. Can I claim any? Oh no, we just have a ton of quests to work on. Jeez Louise. Look at all these quests we can do. Okay, well, we'll work on those in just a second. Uh, do I visit the hunting grounds and try to, you know what? I won't, I won't. Well, let's see, let's see, what should we do? Oh, look at this, what's going on here? Oh, that's okay, that's, uh, that's the thing I just did. So do we go down to Thieves' Cove and just continue to work on some, uh, some attacks here? Or do we visit the arena? No. Let's check out a quest. Let's check, let's check out one of these quests. Okay. So, new epic quest. Epic boss battles. Alright, we'll start this quest. Okay, so Lance says, So I see that you had the pleasure of facing off against one of the most powerful of the Dark Prince's minions. The epic bosses. Don't know how he convinces them to do it, but if he gets a regular- Oh, if he gets a new baddie to invade the Land of Light on a regular basis. Okay. But it's not all bad, though. Stronger enemies means I can craft much stronger armor if you bring me enough collectibles. Okay, fair enough. So I have to go teach the, the epic boss a lesson or three. And I don't know where that is. Where in the world, where in the world is that boss? Well, I guess we gotta find him. <laughs> oh, is it over here? No, let's leave. Okay, it's not over there. It's that, it's that crazy woman. So we'll just go to Thieves Cove and uh, visit with Sir Howard, Spectre, and Jack. And we'll see if we can take on, oh, the Aquaman. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Aquaman. Okay. Oh, wiped out. Absolutely wiped. And I'll take the XP there. And uh, we, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start fast forwarding these battles. I did not realize I could do that until a little while ago. So fast forward is gonna be the move for now on. And uh, there we go. Smacked and smacked and destroyed. Good, good, good. Danger. Uh oh. Nah, we'll not do that. We'll not do that now. We'll do the battle three out of four, and we'll continue to work out on these squid dudes and take all of their experience and whatnot. And uh, finish off this with, ooh! What is this right here? Ooh, very, very cool boss, but not, not too, not too powerful. Not too powerful, that's for sure. So we'll take all of the rewards, and we got water shards this time, all right. So maybe I can make some sort of different armor? Okay, so let's take a look at, let's take a look at what that's all about. Let's take a look at what that's all about. Let's see if we can fuse up, or not fuse up, let's see if we can make, make some new armor in, in the blacksmith, the armor smith. Let's see. Water shards, water shards, water shards. Where would the water shard armor be? Oh, in the water section. Oh, I just need one more water shard. Ah, okay, well, let's see if we can go do that then. Let's see if we can go grab another a water shard. We'll go to the mighty... And uh, we'll go ahead and switch the order, I guess. No, we're we'll, we'll fine. We're, that that order is fine. So we'll start up the attack, and we'll see if we can get this done. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna die. I think Jack may die this round, but I think Howard should have the power to round off the level. And I think we should be fine there. So let's get rid of those dudes, and we'll continue on with the second stage of the battle. Ooh, a little ghoul, little ghoul-looking thingy right there. Okay, so Jack is about to die. That's for sure. He's probably gonna die this next hit. Is he? No, yes he will, yes he will, but Sir Howard comes around with a roundhouse kick to the face and takes up the victory battle. Three out of four, can Sir Howard finish it off? I don't know, let's use his ability. Let's use his ability and get rid of that ghoul and uh, continue on here with the big old Aqua Dude, who is going to maybe just die in one hit. Yep, there we are, and we'll get those shards and experience. And with the final boss, I should be able to go ahead and use the pet bonus as well, which will be pretty good, so let's use that up. Use the pet bonus, and the next turn we'll go ahead and use the big old golden attack bonus. Oh, geez, that was pretty powerful. But is it as powerful as mine? Not so much. All right, well, I, I should. Oh, this is actually scary. Oh, geez. I think she's got me. Does she? No, she does not. Look at that. What a clutch victory. We will take the water shards, and now we can actually visit. Yes, to visit the armor smith and make basic water armor. Awesome. And I'll finish that up with one gem. And uh, let's equip it on maybe. Me? 
Oh my, look at that. Water armor. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so that is it for today's episode. I did have a lot of fun. I had I had a blast. I had an absolute blast. If you guys want to join me, please, please do. I'm going to be playing this game a little bit more as time goes on. Sorry I didn't get to all the questions I thought I would. I did get a few answers uh, out there, though, so hopefully that was nice for you guys. But yeah, definitely check out this game. It was very, very fun. Join my guild and uh, probably make one in the future as well. But for now, that is basically all for this. Switch up Saturday. If you guys have any requests for next Saturday, please leave them in the suggestion section below, which is the comment section, and uh, I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. If you did decide to use my download link, it is greatly appreciated, and if you've watched this far, you are the man. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you all later, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.